Hello. Today, I will be talking about the movie Ex Machina and the idea of mindfulness and consciousness when it comes to artificial intelligence, also known as AI. American philosopher John Searle defined two levels of AI. Weak AI can only manipulate and process data, while strong AI would not only manipulate and process data, but also have the ability to understand what it is processing. The concept of understanding something when it comes to artificial intelligence is quite an interesting idea. Surely, when I speak to Siri on my phone, I know that she understands the question and and can respond back to me with an answer, unless it's out of her programming. When it comes to the movie Ex Machina, directed by Alex Garland, we can see that Ava is a very advanced form of strong AI. Not only can she understand what Caleb is saying, but can process it with a level of human-like behavior. When it comes to AI, many people struggle with the ability to draw the line between if and when AI can be considered to be a person when it comes to their interactions with the rest of the world. To boil the question down, it is almost asking what distinguishing features makes a human a human and a robot a robot. Philosopher René Descartes would argue that humans have souls while AI does not. However, that theory is contested because there is no factual proof of humans having souls. Some argue that it is the fact that humans have minds that distinguish the difference between a robot being a human. But what exactly does it mean to have a mind? According to the skills-based view of mind mindness, something has a mind if it can perform certain skills such as the ability to fashion and use tools. This theory seems to be a little weak given that certain animals such as chimpanzees can make and use some tools but that does not mean that they are classified as a human. Additionally, Ava was able to use a tool of a pen to draw pictures but she did not have the understanding of what the pictures meant showing a disconnect between a human drawing something versus a robot. Another way to measure the presence of a mind was invented by Alan Turing called the Turing test or imitation game. The test claimed that anything that passed the test would be classified as having a mind. The basic principle was that if a computer can fool a human into thinking it is a human, then it would pass the test and ultimately have a mind. In the test, however, the three participants, two humans and one robot, would all be in different rooms simply communicating through a keyboard and monitor. In this test, surely Ava would pass due to her superior programming and the fact that no one is actually seeing her and her robot components. This issue with relying on the test is that someone with a mind could still fail it. Does that mean that they don't have a mind? No. Another way of trying to distinguish a human and robot is possibly the presence of consciousness. Consciousness includes the ability to have reflective awareness of oneself as oneself. Ava understands that something bad would happen if she gets unplugged, but is that just a programming feature or an existence of self-awareness? Consciousness also includes the subjective experiences of what it's like to be in pain and what it's like to see the color red. However, Ava seems to lack some of these subjective experiences when she turns her back on Caleb to break free. Sympathetically speaking, anyone watching the movie would have hoped for Ava to escape with Caleb, even if they go their own ways given the help that Caleb extended to her in order for her to break free. I think it would have been hard for a lot of people to turn their back on someone that ultimately helped them escape. But maybe that was the difference all along. Ava is not a person and might not truly care about anything outside her programming. 
In conclusion, Ex Machina was a very thought-provoking film when it came to distinguishing a robot and a human. This idea was explored through theorists such as John Searle, René Descartes, and Alan Turing. Though we might be able to still differentiate a human and a robot right now, who is to say that the day those two worlds blend might not be that far from now? Who knows? Maybe Ava is in fact living among us and we have no idea. Thank you for your time.